Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's time for our chart of the week. And this week, we're going to be focusing on uh, South American company, Brazilian company, Mercado Libre. Symbol is M-E-L-I. Let's take a look at this chart. It had a nice breakout last week and followed through. So let's take a look and see what we can uh, figure out on this one. So um, <clears throat> as you can see here on the chart, the Resistance level was roughly about 1840, 1845. Um, and that comes in on a high volume day, uh, following a, fo a high volume day back in, in March. And we tagged that level and came down sharply on earnings and came sliding down on a pretty good, pretty good volume, pretty good trend down. We hit that low around 1350 and it was off to the races. And we have a, even a gap up here. Um, as well too but what transpired here for the past uh two and a half months was basically a range bound stock right so we see the stock was stuck in a range from about 1550 up to about 1770 it was bouncing around here and then finally uh about a week or so ago it uh, it got a breakout and it broke out above that march high on really good uh, really good turnover so you can see that turnover right here um indicators Pretty strong. Um, in fact, uh, take a look at the MACD it's on a buy signal over here. We also have a uh, um, very bullish chicken money flow here. RSI is up near uh, um, the high levels where uh, we've seen the stock pull back a little bit. So um, un unless you wanted to get involved right now, I would probably wait um, for a bit of a pullback, maybe back down to uh, this blue line over here that we that we put in here and that might be a spot to uh, add some shares because I think the stock is going to make a run um, after it comes back and retests that level. So uh, we'd like to see if this area between 1800 and 1840 holds um, on a bit of a pullback. So I, I don't know when that pullback is going to happen. We, we can be overbought and stay overbought for a while. We saw that happen back in November of last year. We got overbought um, at uh, right just before Thanksgiving and the stock stayed high and it kept going higher for about another 200 points while it was overbought. So remember something, overbought is just a condition. It's not a signal. It tells you where the stocks are at at a certain point in time, but you need to be aware that uh, when a stock is overbought, that uh, corrections and pullbacks are, are, are subject to happen. The stock becomes very vulnerable. Um, at that point. But uh, I do like uh, Mercado Libre, Libre over here. It, it is an expensive stock and op if you're playing options, and options are also um, often very expensive, but that's okay, right? Um, remember something, it's just, if you're playing the options, it's a uh, it's a fraction or a percentage of the stock that you're playing. So, um, you know, it is a high dollar, uh, high dollar uh, stock. Well, there's a lot of stocks out there like, uh, like booking holdings, also high dollar stock. Um, UNH um, one as well. So, um, but in this particular case, Mercado Libre, um, we think that there's going to be a little bit of a pullback here um, to the uh, to the uh, support line, and then a pull up, possibly over uh, 2100, maybe 2150. So that's Mercado Libre. Thanks for much watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next.